Right then, let's get the radiator out of that. Radiator, leaky, clouds, smoke, steam, breakdown, hour and a half waiting, lots of cars going past road traffic lights, you know, if you follow the channel, which you don't, it's fine. Um, I'm going to take that out of there, but because it's all tucked under there, I'm going to take all this off first, then I'm going to take all this off. And then I'll show you what I'm doing after that. Okay. Great. Right then. I've put you over there so you're out the way of it. Um, wheel off, that off, that off. Brakes can just dangle and smash into stuff. It's all going to be okay. Because it's done 128,000 miles. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> I'm not chatting much because this is probably going to be a fast forward montage. Hit the funk. No funk? Play some tunes. For those of you that are interested, this cracked off all the way along there. Well, actually, it didn't crack off. I was on my way back and it started flapping and that got caught in the rick thing. And as I was turning it anyway, it jammed up, ripped it off by the side of the road, put it in the panniers, drove home. So that's glued to that. That's longer, that's a fender extender. That causes that to be a bit more flexy and then that cracked off. Fair dues, whatever. So to fix it, I got some old drain pipe, heated it up on the heat gun, so it goes flat, and then PVC cemented it, like plumber's cement they use on water pipes, onto here. And this is the first time I've seen it back again. 
and it's absolutely spot on. What a repair. Hey, MacGyver the shit out of that. Perfect. Look. Yeah. Problem is, you see, this is the second radiator I've had, and this one is made out of Chineseium. And it didn't last as long. But it was massively, massively cheap. Anyway, time for you to come out. Perfect. Right, you coming off? And you are coming off, I know you are. I know that you want to. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Indicator wires, I'll forget to put them back on later. Let's get you in here. So Radiator pipes, 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 pipes off. Radiator, 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 radiator. Fans will come off with the radiator. There's going to be a fan wire somewhere. If one of that round goes up, goes down, goes all the way up there, it is there. So that's got to be fed back out of there. Can you see that? I can't. I don't. You know, are you watching still? Um, yeah, that relay I did that for the horn. Get one of these, by the way, Stebble Nautilus. Absolutely brilliant. Beep, beep. Fan, 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 radiator. Big explosion at the top here it was, and sort of came round and went to the fan. Went everywhere. There's the other fan wire, that's this one. So that's okay. We got the pump, we gotta, we gotta take some pipes off. Where's the bracket rye? There is some bracketry up here. Ah, I remember now. I was impressed with this last time. Watch this. Can you see that bracket up there? Let me use a pointy stick a minute. Can you see that bolt? Can you see it? That bolt up there. Can you see that? Don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? That one. That's got to come undone. So what Kawasaki have done, this is probably the only good thing. I've ever seen is this little bung here. Hey, take that bung out. Grab hold of it. How does Derek do this one handed? I'll never see that again. And now you can see straight through well, you know, lights and lights and cameras and actions and you know I'm not a I'm not a you know 44 teeth aren't gonna employ me. Anyway, I can get to that, which is what I'm saying. Then that can all come off. You may have been wondering why I've got the bike on the ramp and then I was crawling around on the floor earlier. I've just been wondering that myself. Okay, let's see how much of a mess we can make in here. Anyway. 
Could have ridden home that. Loads of, loads of radiators still left to go. We'll see. Oh, what size is that then? What? Seven? No, <laughs> it's not. Not listening to you again. Six. How much of that is going to go over the floor? Mm hmm. I'm going to try and grab that protective spring whilst I'm here and just sort of... What am I doing exactly? Just move that out of the way. Stay there, protective spring. Ready. Steady now. Oh, how big is my container? Ah, oh, we'll use that again. Maybe. Hey. I remember lock wiring this on because this is a Chinese one and the filler neck was slightly in the wrong place. So I had to do away with a nice Kawasaki filler neck retaining plasticky thing and fashion a lock wire. Forty-nine. Right, that can go in a bin. Good. If I can do that, there's more stuff coming out. Ooh, crunchy. Well, that's good. I am going to drain the whole shebang. I was rather hoping that undoing that would do that. <coughs> that's the, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, no. Do I want to do that? No. Ugh. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. What does this do? And why doesn't it do it easily? Come on, I'll do. If I gotta squeeze you or push you together, what have I gotta do with you? I'm just gonna gonna kill you in a minute. That might concentrate your mind a little bit. There you go, see? See? <laughs> Threats. Perfect. Goes through this little gap. Absolutely, it does. You can't see because you know gaps. Hey, hmm. rubbery shite. Come on, done. Prick. Why would you do that? Why are you doing that? You absolute thunder prick. Right. Thank you. No bead. I'll do the other side. Let me do some pipes this side. What size did I say it was? Six. Expect dribbling. No dribbling yet. No dribbling. No dribbling so far. Not dribbled yet. Ooh, I've got an oil leak. Woohoo! Yep, I better fix that. Come off! You 
feed our skunk. See what I'm doing. You can. Come and have a look over here. Come on. We're this side now. Trying to get these pipes off. Dabby screwdriver down there. Just, you know, get a bit off of them. Pinch and twist. Up. Pinch and twist. Up. Pinch and twist. And twist and make a big mess. Uh, yes. Oh, that makes me feel like I need to go for a wee. Probably be all right. Look at this look. Uh. Where's that coming from? That joint there. Which, yeah. Ooh, uh. oh, I better fix that as well whilst I'm here. Hmm. Ooh. Plenty of oil in it anyway. Good. Right, them two little ones up there now. And I can undo that one. Now you can drop the radiator out. <laughs> oh, don't forget the uh, don't forget the wires. That one. That one. Where do you go? Where do you go to, little black wire? Hmm? Little dude. Alright. Okay. Okay. You want to be like that? I've got more zip ties than you can shake a stick at. So, you can come back with me. Come on, not you. You're too... No. You stay there. You're too big and messy. You. Gotta fit through that hole. Where do you want to go? Make your mind up. Kink. Perfect. Wire. Three. Ah, knuckles stuck. Stuck knuckles. I think you might come out with those. No. Power pinch. No. Didn't work. Twist to release and pull off. Make up your own jokes. 
Come on. Thank you. Leverage, leverage. Just get it off there. Don't you fall anywhere. And you. Leverage. Thank you. Just leave her off. Thank you. Are you going to come out that tiny little hole? You're not, are you? You're like wedged in behind all this nonsense. Unbelievable, Kawasaki. Remember where that went? Oh, sorry, don't mean to scare you. Right. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay. Let's get you out of there. Hey, fingers! It's all fine. Let me notice. So, bolt thin through there, bolt down the bottom, radio falls out, knocks that over, spills water everywhere. Everybody has a good laugh. What size is it? Pardon? Okay. You said 10, right? So, Jay, you're a good lad. Hey! Ooh! Dangling. Perfect. Can I see? No, not with that light smacking my eyeballs. Ten mil. Park! Right, that was a phone call. This is a radiator, and we're nearly there. I got that one. Oh, have I done that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. All right. <laughs> Whoever put that back in last, look, put some nice copper slip on there. Yes. What you've learned by our mistakes previously. <laughs> I know, a gynecologist feels now. Right, spillage. Oof. Yeah, you won't have these two. Don't start leaking. Right, shake, shake, shake. Now a few drips. Shake, shake, shake. Prostate trouble. No. You're okay. Okay, so radiator is out. They're not my biggest fans. Um, any oil leaks? No. It's fine. When I did the valves, all that was just oil under there. But it's fine. Um, might get some Ajax, you know, on the old exhaust, but it's awesome here. <laughs> I might not as well. Anyway, let's get these off. Why is that zip tied on there? 
I expect there's a reason for that. <laughs> yes, you can tell, can't you? Where's the... Ah, oh, that's why. Because it's made out of Chinesium. Brilliant. I can't even remember doing that. <laughs> can't remember doing that. Ready to snap off? And snap. And snap. And snap off. Thank you. Got plenty of those. Should have sprayed some BDX on that. Nope. Well, I never knew they were different sizes. Amazing. Two mil. That's, that's not my biggest fan. Here's my biggest fan. Right. Should I save on those rubbery gasket -y things? Probably. Inspection time. You can tell where the hole is, was, because of the way it is. Yep. You're gonna leak, aren't you? And there's where the trouble started. Yep. I'm trying to get a good pit shot so you can see. It does look like, yeah. Did something hit it? See, that one looks a bit bent. Not there though, is it? It's up here somewhere. It's this one. Up inside there. Yep. That'll do. You've, you've, you've served your purpose. Right. I need to fix this now. Hang on. Okay, so I've found over the years the best way to repair radiators to, to fully refurbish them is just give them a spray. See how that's coming back back around? Yeah. Looks good as new. And I reckon that looks um Looks pretty good. It's good how they, uh, how it just comes back around. Pleased with that. Right then, let's uh, let's get it put back together again.
Okay, we've got updates. Good angle, I don't know. Guessing. Come on, see. Radio is in. Fully, fully refurbished. Perfect. Fix the fix the leak. Um, didn't clean up anything in there. That's all good. That's all good. Leak fixed. Fix that leak. Amazing. I think it was seeping around here. Wires. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Wheels back in. Torqued up. Nice. Brakes. Need to squeeze the lever. Uh, this side. Look. Coolant's gone red. Red, not green. Green's better than red. Red's better than green. Who knows? Anyway, that's all in. That's all in. That's all in. Looks tidy. All plumbed up. Got some fluid in there, way more than I need, because you know, once it gets up to temperature, it all pisses out the top, and then you've got the right, I think. Magical. And that's it. don't look over there, look over here. That's all good. Remember, I did the valve tappets in there and changed the spark plugs. I can't believe I did that. Anyway, that's, that's going to be it for now. Um, if you. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, Itchy Boots is ace. She's mint. I'm um, going to run it up now. Not now, because it's, you know, it's, it's late. Uh, but going to run it up tomorrow. Fans come on. Temperature, temperature, temperature. Then, I can check the levels again. Then, put the Tupperware back on. We're back on the road. Job done. You know, it's only, it's, only, it's only aggravation and money. That's all that stops us doing stuff. Right, see you next time.